Greetings dear friends, Dragon here once again. If it's your first time finding my tiny little corner of the YouTubes, then do please consider clicking the red button and subscribing if you enjoy what I do. Unboxing time again, and this just in from Eureka ahead of its official release on Monday. Um, I pre-ordered it through the, the Eureka website, and it always comes through a little bit early. And this is The Fall of Ackle Castle. Like a sword of vengeance to my American friends, um, and one of the the other titles that we previously saw Shout putting out in the US on their first Sunny Chiba box set, and um, though largely devoid of extras on the the Shout release, it's pretty lackluster. This looks like it's got quite a lot more on it. It's the second title that uh, the Eureka have put out in the UK that was on that set. Uh, the first one being Samurai Reincarnation, um, and this one also starring Sunny Chiba, though not really a Sunny Chiba movie, which is kind of one of the slightly weird things of a few of those movies on that first Sunny Chiba volume. Quite a few of them don't really have Sunny Chiba in them that much, it's kind of extended cameos, and that is certainly true of The Fall of Aqua Castle, but a great movie, um, kind of good period based Chambara samurai film. Uh, sometimes kind of referred to as the 47 Ronin because it's that original story of the tale of the 47 Ronin which has kind of inspired the movie um, and we're getting this gorgeous slipcase uh, really really nice artwork on it by Chris Malbon I believe which inside we are getting a variation I think on one of the original posters don't know if they're actually giving us nope no, we do get a reversible cover with Chris's artwork inside and uh, we get a booklet which we'll take a look at in a wee second on our back we're just getting our information letting us know that we've got a, a little Tony Rains video essay or, or Tony Rains on the fall of Aqua Castle um, commentary by Tom Mez which is always very very happy to see a new video essay by Jasper Sharp and then our collector's booklet which we'll take a look at now so yeah inside here uh, we are getting a little filmography of Kenji Fugasaku, obviously the director of Battle Royale and of Samurai Reincarnation and a host of other pretty amazing movies along the way, the Battles Without Honor series and quite a lot of, of kind of great standalone movies that he did with Sonny Chiba uh, but I wouldn't kind of really class this as one of his good Sonny Chiba movies uh, Swords of Vengeance by Jonathan Clements and again always a treat when Jonathan Clements gets a chance to write big fan of his commentaries going back to the, the anime and manga releases in the UK from 20 years ago um, he's done quite a few commentaries for uh, for Arrow for their Shaw Brothers box sets, um, and here he gives us an essay. Which I'll look forward to diving into. Pretty cool. Yeah, so that is it. If you're still quick to get your order in, I'm sure you probably still go to get the slipcase and the booklet because they're normally limited to the first 2,000 copies but that is uh, Kenji Fukusaku's The Fall of Ako Castle aka Sword of Vengeance let me know in the comments down below if it's one that you're picking up or if you've already got it on Shout's Sunny Chiba set I did have that set but sold it and um, really I think it was pretty disappointing overall in terms of extras so very happy that we're seeing individual releases of some of the films that I kind of most enjoyed from that set and The Fall of Ako Castle was one of them we're also seeing into the new year uh, the two Yakuza Wolf movies, which were also on that set, getting a, a release from Eureka, I think, in a February, March time. Can't remember the exact date as a standalone again in the UK. But that is it. I've been the Fanatical Dragon. Thank you so, so much for watching this. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.